So we're joined now by Cool FM a Breakfast Show presenter, Pete Snodden. Pete, how are you? Very well, Robin. Good to see you. Good to see you. So the big gig announcement, uh, 25th of May next year, uh, Ward Park and Bangor. This is one of the music highlights of next year, isn't it? You know what? There's so many musical highlights for next year, but this is the one I'm most looking forward to. I've been waiting years for this gig to come back. I am from Bangor. Um, the the legacy, I suppose, of the Ward Park shows is huge, and Snow Patrol are going to do it again. Um, and back the last one they did was the biggest gig ever to happen in Northern Ireland by arguably the biggest band that we have ever produced in this country so um, it'll be a special night there'll be a lot of people who will be there to try and relive both the first two shows and a lot of people who will have thought to themselves I missed out before so they'll go along and, and see it and fingers crossed it'll be, a, it'll be a great day and the weather will be kind to us Ward Park 3 um, tell us why this, the hat trick is so special. Well, the first two Ward Parks were two of the best nights of our lives, sure. best days of our lives. Um, the second one in particular was, uh, it's probably the fa the, our favorite gig that we ever did. We, and every time I go out in Bangor to the shops, <laughs> uh, the only question I ever get asked is, when's the next Ward Park? Um, and, uh, now I'll be able to tell people, 25th of May. So um, you've said already it's uh, your favorite gig you've, you've ever done. Um, because you took some time out, Chance, um, obviously after it happened, it was phenomenal. Everyone was talking about it. But as the years have gone on... About has... taking time out, they were excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, as the years have passed, has it become even more significant in your career? Nathan, this gig? This gig, yeah. I mean, I think we always kind of after the second one I always wanted to do a third it was just a matter of time really and um, so and as Gary said every time you're out um, every time I'm in the, the Duke should be very, it's, uh, people are asking about it so um, yeah can't wait um, you guys are on the on the road at this moment in time um, and you've been touring um, how's it been going because the pictures we've got to see on your Instagram have been absolutely phenomenal yeah, that was the first uh, gig of the tour on Wednesday night in Newcastle, and it's the it's the best show we've ever put on. Like the the, the staging, the lighting, our um, lighting director Davy Sherwin, who's from Collybacky, and been with us for twenty years, um, and, and we give him the nickname Job for Life, and that's for a reason. He's the best at it. He's just the best lighting director in the world, and it's the most extraordinary show we put on. So. It's really, really award-winning, award-winning, award, award-wanting. Award award <laughs> He's award-wanting. The whole day is uh, a celebration of Northern Irish music. Um, it is Northern Irish acts all the way. Um, ourselves, Foy Vance, Ash, Soak, Jealous of the Birds, Brand New Friend, and then on the second stage, there'll be a special guest on the on the main stage as well to be announced next uh, month. Um, and then on the second stage, it is Callum Stewart, the Woodburning Savages, Kit Philippa, and Roe. I think you'll find that is an extraordinary uh, bill. And all Northern Irish acts, Northern Irish music at the moment is in its rudest health, perhaps ever. And uh, it's very exciting to be able to celebrate that um, at a time when it's a good time to celebrate um, all the good things about Northern Ireland. So apart from Snow Patrol and Foy Vance, who else are you looking forward to seeing? Uh, JC Stewart, um, or Callum Stewart, as yes, we first yeah. became aware of him. Um, probably he's going to be my favourite on the day. Uh, really good lad, uh, brilliant voice. His own stuff that he's doing is superb, but he's, such, he's so versatile. And he recently performed at the Lush Classical gig, which not too many people are aware of. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to him. And Soak as well, who never fails to impress. <laughs> 25 years of Snow Patrol. Um, Johnny, what uh, can you really sum up the last 25 years? <laughs> <laughs> it's gone quick, that's for sure. Um, I think for us, you know, when you, you, anyone starts a band, you never imagine it's going to last more than, I don't know, five years. Um, you don't know when it's going to end, but certainly 25 years to be doing this as a career. Um, and then, and, and Ward Park for us, the first one was really a combination of where, you know, how far we'd come from being so sort of desperate, um, touring in a van to thinking, you know, this is this is not never going to work to, you know, 20, 30,000 people um, at our own gig. 
So you know, it's been it's been a mad journey, as everyone knows. It took us probably eight years to to um, get recognised in any way. Um, Joe Wiley played Ron Radio One and changed our whole career. And and then it's just been a roller coaster um, of epic proportions, incredible um, for us to be able to get to play the world, um, to see fans, you know, in Korea, Philippines, Australia, South America. It's been a, it's been a trip. Snow Patrol are currently celebrating 25 years in the music industry. Why do you think they've lasted so long? I think seven years between these albums, um, to come back and to have the response that they've had, um, I think tells you all you need to know. People, they left people wanting more. Mm -hmm. And with each album came, um, came hits, obviously. Arguably for me personally, the last album, Fallen Empires, probably not their most successful in terms of commercial wise and how many albums were sold um, for me was the best the best of Snow Patrol in terms of the lyrics um, but along the way they're just timeless hits you know when you go anywhere in the world people know who Snow Patrol are you know you just play those first opening bars of Chasing Cars we played it till like you know we couldn't play it no more um, and people still wanted it and still wanted it and I just think it's the case of you know Great songs are timeless yeah. and people want to hear the hits. And you know the thing about it is whenever they come and perform, they deliver time and time again. I went to see them at the SSE last week and again, they were incredible. And, uh, you know, I think people know what they're going to get and they deliver every time and they leave people wanting more. So fingers crossed, come to Ward Park 3 show that they will give people everything that they had from the first two and make it even better. We weren't expecting people to stick around uh, for as long as they did. We weren't, we weren't thinking it was going to take us seven years to make an album. That was on me. I, I, I couldn't figure out the way to write the lyrics. Um, so I hold my hand up to that. But we weren't really expecting the same um, sort of interest, the album to do so well, the tour to do so well. We weren't expecting that. You, know, you can't expect that, you know, you can't leave it that long. And especially nowadays when people's attention spans are getting shorter and shorter, myself included, you know, um, I have my own addiction to social media. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, so it's, it's harder and harder to, 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 to kind of get, keep that loyalty but people seem to have for us and we're very, very grateful for it. You know, it's not, a, it's not something that we take for granted. So obviously you've been playing their songs on the radio for many years as well. Do you remember the first time you got a Snow Patrol record and heard it? And yeah, it, it was Final Straw. It was the album Final Straw, which was the first real sense of um, commerciality, I suppose, because there was a couple of albums before that and they didn't go under the radar, but they were very specialist. Um, Run was the song and um, still whenever they perform that it just makes the hairs in the back yeah. of my neck stand up and the rest as they say after that that was the album that changed their lives and the rest as they say is history so if you had to choose one snow patrol song as your favorite would it be run no um oh i said you put me in the spot now <laughs> i could i could list you about five um set the fire to the third bar is right up there um if there's a rocket tie me to it from 100 million suns that's right up there um from the album Fallen Empires, uh, The Garden Rules, which is really good, and from the latest album, um, Impress. Brilliant. You really are a true Snow Patrol well, fan. I do like them now, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pete, thank you for doing this, and uh, we look forward to uh, Ward Park, 25th of May, next year. Can't wait. I'll be able to see you there. See you then. Thank My you. pleasure. Cheers, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, Snow Patrol. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.